Hey guys, uh, we have some massive news here, okay? This is some, I don't usually talk about news and stuff like this, but this is 100% worthy of it, okay? So, this is something I never thought I would ever see. Like, this, this is crazy, okay? So, without further ado, let's jump right into this. Okay, so, uh, I got a, a comment today on... Uh, Spongebob Squarepants the movie game uh, on my long play video this guy right here thank you so much BP underscore 2113 man or girl every he says this or she everyone if you go on THQ Nordic Twitter they tweeted saying that they are happy to announce that they are partnering with Nickelodeon to remaster slash revive these old Nickelodeon games, including SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom, uh, the movie, game, Jimmy Neutron, etc. So I was like, okay, this is either a troll or he is or he is serious. So I had to I had to jump in and see because this is crazy. So I go on to THQ Nordic, I go under uh, I check out I check out their Twitter and they say this, hashtag THQ Nordic, hash and hashtag Nickelodeon, bring back selected game titles from the past, more information can be found here, and uh, one of the first comments says by Jose, battle for Bikini Bottom, I hope so, okay, so we're going to jump right in here and read the article, so on THQ Nordic dot com, THQ Nordic and Nickelodeon bring back selected games from the past, Spongebob Squarepants, TAC, and many other game gaming hits will celebrate their comeback in 2018 and beyond new york slash vienna march 21st 2018 thq nordic and nickelodeon today announced the global revival of several game titles connected with nickelodeon properties the full list of game titles are all right here we go avatar the last airbender back at the barnyard cat scratch danny phantom el tegre i probably butcher that Invader Zim, Jimmy Neutron, My Life as a Teenage Robot, Rocket Power, Roko's Modern Life, Rugrats, SpongeBob Battle, or sorry, SpongeBob SquarePants. I wanted it to save a SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom so bad. Uh, Attack and the Power of Juju, The Fairly Odd Parents, US Only, The Ren and Stimpy Show, The Wild Thornberries. Okay. This is massive. Okay. SpongeBob SquarePants. Battle for Bikini Bottom, man. And hopefully, uh, the movie game as well. Those are the only two Spongebob games that, if they were only going to make two, those are the only ones that I would that I would ask for, man. Battle for Bikini Bottom and the movie, man. Even if it was only one Battle for Bikini Bottom. Like, these, those games are so much fun. And the fact that we're getting all these other games as well. This is crazy. Okay, so I'm going to continue reading. On-shelf availability will be announced in the coming months. The appetite for Nickelodeon content and the new con and new continues to grow, and it's exciting to our and it's exciting. Oh my goodness! And excited and it's exciting to bring our beloved content to new audiences through his through this partnership with THQ Nordic," said John Roman, senior vice president of Toys and Nickelodeon. These titles were popular when they were first released, and we can't wait for fans around the world to rediscover their favorites. That's a good quote. Okay, this one hits close to home. We are very proud of signing this agreement, which was originally executed by the former THQ Inc. Comments Ad Adrian Lawyer, VP, Digital, S Digital Sales and Business Development Americas and THQ Nordic. We believe the combination of strong licenses and solid Crisp gameplay was one of THQ's, THQ Inc.'s trademark strategies, and we intend to continue this tradition. I'm confident we choose, we chose one of the strongest partners for doing just that. It was a perfect fit for our asset care strategy, bringing back fan favorites, continuing to support legacy games, and making them available on current and even next-gen platforms. Wow. <laughs> so that means that PS4 and Xbox One are already confirmed, and whatever else onwards, those are the only ones I would even consider buying them on, considering, you know, I don't care about the PS5 or Xbox 
2, whatever they're going to call it next. Xbox One 2.2, who knows what they're going to call it next. Uh, but PC, I really hope they come on PC as well, because if it's on PC, you never need to upgrade, right? You can It'll always be on your computer, like on Steam or whatever you have it on. And one of the comments says, Battle for Bikini Bottom better be remastered. <laughs> I think it will be, because, I mean, out of all these games, Battle for Bikini Bottom, uh, probably Tack, The Power of Juju, I mean, Fairly Odd Parents, Danny Phantom, Jimmy Neutron, those are all huge games. I mean, so many of these games on here are huge, right? Uh, just depends what you, you played as a kid, right? Because, I mean, that's, that's awesome. Like... I really do hope that uh, we get Spongebob. Uh, more Spongebob games. I would buy all of them. Uh, in Canada, games right now are $80 brand new. So, I'd buy all of them. Somehow. I don't know how, but... For sure, the ones I want, I would buy right away. But other ones I'd probably have to, you know, save up for. Unless they do a pack thing. Uh, Attack on the Power of Juju I'd probably buy. Fairly Odd Parents And Danny Phantom... Yep, there's probably a couple others. Seeing how they they look, I might buy. Uh, but wow, this is crazy. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with you guys, cause like I said, I don't usually do news and stuff like that. But I feel like this I haven't heard about it, and I heard about it from a random comment, and I'm like, this needs. There's probably other videos. There's probably like hundred other videos. Who knows? But anyways, I felt like I had to. Like this, this these games. Like all these games that they're remastering, man, that is so awesome, and I hope they're I hope they're good remasters. You know, I hope they really are. Like a good remaster to me is kind of like uh, I don't know I, if you've ever played the Ratchet and Clank uh, HD collection. Like that was that was just awesome. Just like it doesn't need to make it look perfect or anything. Just the fact that you can play it with a little better graphics and maybe because I don't think they'll fix anything, but. Just, just some other better graphics, you know? I mean... Anyways, uh... So... Uh, I hope, if anything, uh, because they say right here, celebrate their comeback in 2018 and beyond. So, I mean... We'll be seeing games come out this year and... However long from now, right? Um... And they say to stay connected to them. Uh, so probably on their through their Twitter or whatever THQ Nordic I'm following them right now I, I believe anyway I hope I am uh, <laughs> I guess I'll find out right now am I following you yes I am okay good so I'm following them and uh, I'm looking forward to these I I mean this is this is crazy Okay, um, anyways, sorry, I was just reading. Uh, thank you guys all for watching, uh, and, uh, let's go into this for people that watch my channel. Uh, thank you guys so much, I'm almost at 1,500 subscribers. Uh, right now I'm at 1,490, I mean, this is crazy right now, I mean, I never thought I'd be, like, getting subscribers this fast, I mean, just thank you all, uh, it means, it means a lot, uh, and uh, views went up and watch time. I mean, it's all it's all awesome. Thank you guys so much for that. Like seriously, that the, the fact that so many people, you know, like watch my stuff. It's not just my stuff, you know. Like they're they're replaying these games and you're watching these this footage and stuff. And I mean, it's just reliving some of your childhood, right? Or in your teens or whenever, bring back those memories. I mean, I love seeing those comments of people when they talk about, you know, memories. And then, you know, some people just go into real big detail, and I love reading those. Like, it's awesome, you know. I mean, that's what pretty much keeps me going. I mean, when people are interested in a the game, they're like, Wow, I've never seen that game before, or thank you for doing this. Or, you know, they're talking about parts from a game, and then I'll go back and watch, and I'm like, oh, that was awesome. So, thank you guys. And, uh, just I hope this news brings you, you know, like, this was crazy for me, and I, honest, I never thought I'd see this. Like, whenever I saw people say remaster, 
I was like, yeah, I'd love one, but you know, you never think about that stuff, right? You're like, nah, it's not gonna happen because the licenses were sold and whatever. But the fact that they're getting together now and being able to, you know, like, th that's crazy. So, I'm really hoping this goes because I know Heavy Iron owned these. So, and Heavy Iron made amazing, absolutely amazing games. This. Battle for Bikini Bottom and the movie, both from Heavy Iron Studios, man. Heavy Iron. And uh, they know how to make games. Like, they know how to make a 3D platformer fun. And that's the other thing, man. I, I hope with these remasters, some new developers or indie developers can see. I, I know the process for making games. You know, I've looked a lot into it. It is not easy. It is not easy, you know. You need a good team behind you and you need to know what you're doing. Uh, and it's not just, oh, well, anyone can do it. No, <laughs> you need to be dedicated to what you're doing and know how to make games and make them look good. And, I mean, I hope maybe this will spawn maybe some new 3D platformers again. I know that it's all RPG and FPSs right now, and but I, I hope in the future that maybe we'll get some of those. Anyways, I hope that spawns some of that. So anyways, yeah, again, guys, uh, Hope you enjoyed watching, and I share share this news. Doesn't matter. I don't. Doesn't matter. You don't have to share the video. Just share the news. Hopefully, this if other people hear about it and can spread the word, get it out there. You know, just just share it somehow. Just tweet or Facebook or YouTube. Talk to your friends, whatever. Just just tell them about this. You know, people that were interested in this. If people spread this, I mean. <laughs> This is going to be awesome. Maybe the more people are here, the more the more fast we might get these games, or maybe more games will get released because more people talked. So, I mean, yeah, just just tell other people, right? And, uh, I mean, I sure am. So, anyways, see you guys around, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye boy for golden spatula, Spongebob. I'm sure that my robots out there have some. <laughs> hey, you call them your robots. No, I, uh... And I saw a plaque on the butt of one of the robots that said, Property of Plankton. Well, maybe, but I, uh... And I found this order form for robot parts with your signature on it. Can I have that back? I need it for my tax write-off. I think you've been pulling my leg this whole time. Well, duh. I'll bet you made all these robots. And after I get inside the chum bucket and figure out how to stop them, I'm gonna tell everyone. Fine, tell everyone. Be a big tattletale. I'm still smarter than all of you. Maybe this day won't be mine. Or the next. Or possibly even the next. Or the next. Or the next, or the next, or the next, or the next after that. But the one after the next, after the next, after the next, after that. Well, that one after that, right next to that one, that will be my day.